This unlikely looking desert plant produces domestic rubber. It's pronounced Wayuli. It may be the most important shrub in our future. Now, from Channel 4 San Diego, Corey Voss, Jack Gates, Julie Iriondo, Jeannie Rodden, and Dennis Morgino, this is San Diego Insider Magazine. Millions of people suffer from allergies, and in some cases, as with people sensitive to latex rubber, those allergic reactions can be deadly. But a Carlsbad company is hoping to change all that. It's developed a domestic, natural, allergy-free latex rubber. Jack Gates reports on the unusual history of this life-saving latex. This unlikely-looking desert plant produces domestic rubber. It may be the most important shrub in our future. The plant does have an unusual name and spelling. G-U-A-Y-U-L-E, Wayuli. And hundreds of acres of Wayuli are growing outside Phoenix, Arizona. But it's the Ulex Corporation here in Carlsbad that developed a process to extract natural, allergy-free latex from the Wayuli plant. ULEX president and CEO Jeff Martin explains its unique quality. If you look at the bark of the plant, it's really where the latex is produced. Martin says Wayuli is unlike the rubber trees in Southeast Asia. He says in the 1980s, health problems started with that imported latex. And there was an outbreak in the United States of latex allergy, and there was really a need to develop an alternative. In the 80s, rubber glove use became mandatory in the medical fields to prevent HIV AIDS. All the rubber came from Southeast Asia. This tropical latex that was being imported into the United States was just loaded with high dosages of tropical proteins that we know today are allergenic. It was very minor at first and then it just got more and more. Yvonne Pia from Escondido was one of the millions of healthcare workers who became allergic to tropical latex rubber gloves. My breathing, I was having issues with the breathing and my eyes were starting to get irritated. So it was becoming more severe. Pia quit the nursing profession in 95 because she was afraid her allergies would escalate into shock or death. I would go back into the medical field if I had more access to latex free products. Dr. Katrina Cornish, originally from England, worked for the U.S. Agriculture Department and now works for ULEX. She developed the Wyuli latex process, the safe alternative for allergy sufferers. I've always been interested in the basic research with a strongly applied goal, so it was a wonderful opportunity to be able to do this. An acre of Wyuli will produce a ton of latex. The extract is kind of a rubbery milkshake. So you, if you put your finger in it, you can see, actually, you make a little finger cut like that, but if you roll it around, it'll quite quickly turn into some pieces of solid rubber. So there's a little piece of, little piece of elastic. Wyuli latex gloves are form-fitting, a better quality than synthetic man-made gloves, which can also contain allergic chemicals. This year, Ulex will begin selling its latex to manufacturers to be used for medical gloves, condoms, and catheters. Eventually, Ulex would like to see Wyuli tires. But the use of Wyuli isn't new. Wyuli was first grown in San Diego County in the 1920s. The Rockefellers started the Intercontinental Rubber Company when rubber was needed for the emerging auto industry. The Intercontinental Rubber Company actually produced a large amount of Wyuli rubber here locally for not only the U.S. government, but for industry. But the Wyuli depleted, the company went out of business. In the 1940s, during World War II, Wyuli made a comeback. The U.S. needed a domestic source of rubber because rubber from Asia had been cut off. So again, there were fields of Wyuli all over San Diego County, including here around the Agua Hedionda Lagoon in Carlsbad off I-5. In fact, Oceanside surfer Phil Edwards, one of the originators of hot dog surfing in the 50s and 60s, 
grew up near local Waiuli fields. The name stuck, it became known as the Waiuli Kid, and people that know folklore about the area and, uh, and surfing history will certainly identify with Phil the Waiuli Kid. Now Waiuli is not just folklore, it's fundamental. If bioterrorism targeted Asian rubber plantations, it could have a devastating effect on our economy. ULEC says the U.S. has no reserves of domestic rubber and is 100% dependent on rubber imports. It's our second largest raw material import, second only to petroleum. But we have petroleum here, we have gas, we have coal. We don't have any rubber. That's why ULEX wants more Waiuli to be planted for domestic rubber, just like it was planted years ago around this Carlsbad Lagoon. The ULEX Corporation hopes over the next decade there'll be millions and millions of acres of Waiuli growing throughout the entire Southwest. Domestic rubber production, it's an old idea that's new again. I'm Jack Gates, Channel 4, San Diego.